you have 10 seconds. Which of these items is the best one to pick up? Do you know what's vaulted? For how long has it been vaulted? Maybe it's just hard for you to get. Oh, time's up. Let's hope you make the right choice. How would you like a better way to do this? I'm the Engineer. Let's solve a practical problem. When it comes to picking the ideal relic reward, PC players have the upper hand, thanks to a companion application called WF Info, or Warframe Info. It's lightweight, relatively simple, and basically just the best tool you can have when it comes to running relic fishes. This also allows you to get the top rewards without spending hours memorizing what's vaulted and what's hard to get. Even after you've run your missions, Warframe Info can help in identifying what's best to sell for platinum versus trade in for ducats. So let's walk you through the setup and how it works. Firstly, head on over to the Warframe Info website, which is linked in the video description down below. Grab the download, pop it somewhere suitable like your desktop, and extract the one file inside. Then of course, let's run it. You'll get this tiny window pop up, and it'll go through a quick process of grabbing data about relics and prime parts. The app is using Warframe Market's average values for the last 48 hours to generate prices for everything. Once you have it loaded, you'll need to ensure the settings are suitable for your use. Click the settings icon to expand the full settings window. These are the settings I use and that I'd recommend, so go ahead and just copy these. I'll explain each one. The display time means any overlay will show for 10 seconds, and the options highlight with high contrast simply makes everything easy to read. If you need a longer or shorter overlay, just change the number to the amount of milliseconds you want. Overlay offset is there if you find things appearing a bit too out of place. Count item being ticked enables you to fill in the catalog of items in equipment, which I'll show you in just a moment. Snap noise you can just leave at zero. For the keybinds, just choose whatever works best for you. Activation key will manually scan a relic reward screen if needed. Search and modify you hold before pressing activation key to search Warframe Market's prices. And the Snap It modifier you hold before pressing the activation key to scan your inventory for prices and details. Efficiency Minimum and Maximum sets the colour thresholds for the overlays based on your own preference for selling items for ducats versus platinum. Again, more on that in just a moment. Locale sets language, currently supporting English and Korean. And then selecting Clipboard will copy the results of the overlay in text form if you wanted to share that information with your squad. The Auto option means you don't need to press the activation key for Relic Fishers, as the scan will happen automatically. An Auto List detects when you selected an item from a Relic Fisher, and gives you a window to make a want to sell listing on Warframe Market, assuming you've logged in via the Warframe Info application. You will also need to set up your Warframe settings to accommodate this app. Make sure you set your game display mode to borderless full screen here and make sure your interface has item labels turned on so the application can read them. With your settings set how you see fit, you're good to go. Just keep Warframe Info running as you do Relic Missions. When you finish a Relic Fisher and see the reward choices, the app will momentarily tell you some very key details to help you choose the right item. You'll see if the item is vaulted. You'll see the average sale price on Warframe Market in the last 48 hours. You'll see how many of them have been sold through Warframe Market, and you'll see the ducat value without having to mouse over each item. The overlay will also highlight the item with the highest platinum value in green, and the item with the highest ducat value in yellow, if it happens to be a different item. If it's something you've told the app you don't own, it'll instead highlight it in cyan. For me personally, I'll go with the highest platinum value unless either I really want a different item, say to finish a set, or if the platinum values are so low that ducats are just more convenient. In any case, this is giving you up-to-date valuations in mere moments, meaning you never miss out on a high-value, vaulted yet common reward, or never have to gamble between two items you just aren't familiar with. The other big ticket feature with Warframe Info is inventory scanning, called Snap It. Open up your inventory and go to the Prime Parts section. When you hold down the Snap It modifier and press the activation key, you start the scan. Select the area you want to scan by a simple click and drag box, and in a moment the scan result will come through. Just like with the Relic Fisher overlay, you can see the Platinum and Ducat values, but also you see one new metric. This is the efficiency stat that we set in the settings earlier. 
it's ducats divided by platinum value, with higher numbers meaning more ducats per platinum. Anything above your efficiency max, which I set to 10, will show green meaning it's above the threshold you've chosen and is always worth turning into ducats. Anything below the efficiency minimum, which I've set to 8, will show red and should be sold for platinum where reasonable. For everything in between, they'll come up grey for you to decide which is more important to you. Naturally, you can set these values how you please. It acts as a simple guide you can use when visiting the ducat counter as a relay to hone in on those items best turned into ducats. Be aware that this doesn't take into account any sets, where you may get more platinum more easily selling a full set of items rather than just the higher priced components individually. For that, you'll just need to check for yourself. With the count item setting turned on, doing a snap it scan also counts how many items you have in the stack, which enables the program to build up a record of all the prime parts you have. Hit the save count button on the box that shows up to record your scan. This box may be a bit hidden by some of the results of the overlay, but the box itself doesn't time out so there's no rush on clicking it. This scan sets the count value in the equipment section. The record of the items you own then is saved here in the equipment section of Warframe Info. You can sort by category, then by set, to see which items you've scanned and how many of them you have. This also allows you to see the average price of each item, with the set price being the simple sum of those average prices. Do note that's not the combined set cost on Warframe Market. This can be helpful in quickly checking how important a full set is, as you can compare the set value given on Warframe Info to the set price that's on Warframe Market, allowing you to easily see what the markup or discount is on buying or selling the whole set. Naturally, you can also use the equipment window to help you track what items you still need to acquire, what spares you have, and what's worth selling from your inventory all at a glance. Now, circling right the way back to running relic fishers, Warframe Info has one more trick up its sleeve. The relic section here can list for you every single relic in the game, which you can sort in various ways. Often it's easiest to categorise by relic era based on whichever mission you intend to run, and choose for yourself if you want to show or hide vaulted relics. The int value is the average platinum value of the relic if you open it intact, so that's without putting any void traces into it. The rad value is the average platinum value if you make the relic radiant before opening it. The values take into account the rarity of each item from that relic, and they treat former as zero platinum. The number in brackets on the end is how much more valuable you have made the relic by converting it from intact to radiant, helping you to quickly tell where's the best place to use your void traces. The totals listed on the eras sadly are meaningless, as they're just a sum of the relics in each era, so you can just ignore that stat. By using the filter with a partial or whole item name at the top here, you can at a glance find out which relics give you the items you need, and how valuable each relic is on average to open. Now do be aware that these average values are all calculated from single relics, and do not take into account multiple people bringing relics. Naturally, the more people there are in a squad, the more chances you have at higher value items pushing up the average per run. Still, the values as given are a solid indicator if you're looking to optimise which relics you should open in which order. And that's pretty much the rundown on Warframe Info. It's a lightweight overlay tool to pick the best relics, pick the best rewards, help you track what prime parts you've acquired, and make the right choices at the Ducat kiosk. It's an incredible tool, so once again, go check it out. The link is right below this video. I hope this has helped you get into the swing of using this powerful tool. Just FYI, this isn't a sponsored video or anything, I'm not connected to the makers of Warframe Info in any way. I just think that every PC player deserves to know and understand how to use it. Anyway, that's all from me, so crack relics, choose wisely, and fight well Tenno.